Another area that we've improved um, in the latest DesignX release is the region grouping tools. So we added, the main piece of functionality is that we added the ability in the auto segment to uh, region group based on the tessellated mesh that came from CAD. So the idea is that, you know, primarily what we see is scan data, that we're reverse engineering off of or modeling off of inside of DesignX comes from some sort of digitizer, right? Uh, whether it's a laser scanner, white light scanner, CT scanner, all these different devices, when they capture the shape of an object, we're usually modeling off of those. And the auto segment tool is designed and tuned to mesh or auto segment based on that type of data. So that that type of data has a certain DNA to it, the way it's captured and the way it acts inside of our software, right? But that's not the only place where you get uh, data to reverse engineer off of. Sometimes you reverse engineer off of data that came originally from a CAD model that's converted back to a mesh for one reason or another. Uh, or it could be from a mesh modeler software like, uh, like uh, SketchUp or something like that, right? So if it's a CAD converted mesh, um, the auto segment tool historically wasn't tuned really well for that. Um, so this is an example of a scan data set, right? That comes from a laser scanner and look at how it looks. It has some texture to it and everything, right? So now if I, if I take a CAD model and I turn that mesh off and I come over to our polygons tab and I say, I want to convert this body to a mesh and let's change the color of it that way it's kind of more of a one-for-one one visually when you see it and turn the CAD off and then look at the look at the polygons they're very orderly polygons right and we're not used to seeing those with our tool and then another way to render it here is to turn on the edges so look at these orderly polygons that come from a software that generated a mesh um, that was modeled as opposed to a, this is another one. Uh, this is one that came from scan data. See how scan data is very unordered the way it comes from that scanner, right? And it had no sharp edges or anything like that. So this is why we created a tool in the region grouping tool to be able to create regions on this type of model, which actually should be easier, right? Because this data is more simplistic and it's very specific. Um, so the idea is you hit the checkbox, you select your mesh, you can adjust how many regions you want it to be uh, resolution wise. Do you want more regions or less the sensitivity, right? So if I go ahead and hit the okay button, of course it happens very fast um, because this is a very lightweight mesh that I converted. Um, but now if I come over, look, it divided these up. Nice flat regions to work off of, right? And then now it's very easy just to select this side face and create a mesh sketch on it, move it over, and then go from there, right? So um, that is the CAD tessellated uh region grouping segmentation option inside of the new DX 2022.